ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בשלום. The Torah speaks about a kind of illness that manifests itself on the skin called tzarat. Many associate that with being a leper, but I'm not too sure in any event. Uh, what do you do when you have these lesions uh, on your skin and you see they don't disappear? So you go to a physician. No, the Torah says no. You go to a Kohen. You go to a priest. Why to a priest? Because the priests were the teachers, the symbols of morality and the Jewish people. And Tzarat, they figured, was really a superficial manifestation of a moral problem, a moral lesion inside your soul somehow. This was just an outside manifestation. So the Torah says that depends upon the color, the, the Koran would say, Tame, Tame means you are impure, and Tahor means you are clean. Uh, he is the one that decided what the future is. And if you were Tame, and if you were impure, what, you know what he'd do? He'd send you out of the uh, communal place, of the communal space, and you had to go outside of the city. Stay by yourself alone for seven days. Then you'd come back, take a look what happened to the lesion, and so on. So what they did basically is separate you from the rest of the community. Why? Well, on the one hand, you can say, you know, he's a bad element. If this fellow has a moral impurity, and according to our rabbis, you know what Sarat comes from? From Lashon Hara, from speaking ill about your friend, by telling his weaknesses to others, by spreading rumors. This kind of thing is what brings about Sarat. So maybe they put you out of the community. You shouldn't be a source of contagion to other people. In other words, you show them that Lashonara is something that you can practice. Somebody else will start practicing Lashonara and it'll, you'll, it'll multiply. You know, it's just like the pandemic today. You know, if you have the virus in you, if you're within society, you, you will become a source of contagion for others. So what do we do? You put on a mask and we put you aside with I isolate you in order that you shouldn't infect other people with the sickness that you have. But this is also a moral illness. So maybe what our tradition is trying to tell us, you know what? You have to put this, play, this person on an area where he won't have any influence of anybody else. He has to be by himself, solitary. And let him start thinking about himself. Let him start introspection. Let him start reviewing his own life. What am I doing with my life? And obviously he won't have the daily preoccupations, the daily occupations that we have with our friends, society, you have to uh, work, you have to do it. No. Now you're with yourself for seven days and think about what should you be doing. You know, nowadays we believe a lot in cooperation. How are the great scientific discoveries done? You know, they're done in universities by groups, you know, this group and that group and what have you. We do experiments together. But you know, I think that in the last instance, the moment of discovery is really of the individual that suddenly has an an inspirational moment where he sees the light how to solve the problem. It is true that we all build together something, but the crucial moment, the decisive moment of the moment of invention is the result of one individual. You know, take a look at the great uh, works of art, uh, the Sistine Chapel, uh, go into a Metropolitan Museum of New York, go into the museum in Spain, the Goyas, the this. These are all the works really of individuals. You know, Einstein was formed in the university. He had teachers and so on, but the illumination eventually came really to him. Today you say, I, I say we work more in groups, but eventually the illumination comes from one individual. The great works of opera, of music, symphonies are not the result of a 
communal effort, it is really the result of one. A person standing by himself, looking into himself, thinking for himself, facing his own reality. Maybe this is what the Torah is telling this fellow that has sarat, a superficial manifestation of some in inner fault. You know, you have to be with yourself. You have to be true to yourself. Examine yourself because only you can really correct what is wrong with you. And when you are positively in, with yourself, really being sincere, naked in front of what you really are, eventually you can overcome many, many of your shortcomings. Try to do it. It'll be very useful.